So my name's Claire Rivera and um, I'm a professional basket maker based in Ogden by Sea in the Vale of Glamorgan. I've been making baskets for about 20 years now. I was a primary school teacher and I got into basket making when a, a basket maker from um, Devon came up to work in my school and I literally picked up um, a stick of willow and immediately knew I'd found my craft. As soon as I picked it up and started to flex it, it was just everything, the smell, the feel, the coolness of it, the possibilities of it, my mind immediately started racing and I've never been so excited in all my life. It's gone from there, constantly improving, trying to improve my practice as, I, um, as the years went by and up to the stage where I've become a selected Makers Guild in Wales member um, and I'm also a yeoman member of the Worshipful Company of Basket Makers so that was a very exciting moment to be invited um, for that this year. Basket making has always been known to be a therapeutic activity and it's been used through generations and decades as a therapeutic activity and particularly during the war and after the war um, and for people with mental health issues. So for me coming in in the morning first thing I do is just put on some quiet music, I'll sort my willow. So in order to get um, a basket to look as regular um, and neat as this you have to put quite a lot of effort into um, sorting the willow so it's the same throughout the process of the basket so that's the first thing I do and I find that that really grounds me and just relaxes me and then the actual rhythm this basket's woven from side to side so you you put in a willow rod you weave to one side and you weave back and you weave from this side to this side and you stop and you pick up another rod and you weave from this side to this side you completely lose yourself, your hands are busy and you just can't think about anything that's going on anywhere else in the world or any troubles you might have at home. So it's definitely that mindfulness of, of the weaving which I find really, um, in, you know, I find it's really important for me in my daily, daily life. I was really excited by the thought that I could grow my own materials um, and I actually grow, I have two and a half thousand willows growing on a three acre field in Pembrokeshire. We manage that field for biodiversity so there's a wet meadow system and a dry meadow system which we're putting back to um, traditional hay meadow. It gives me a huge connection to the materials I'm working with. So actually walking up and down the willow bed, I look at the leaves, I touch it through every single season. And that gives me that connection with the materials that then um, is turned into the baskets. It's organically grown, so I share it with whatever wants to eat it. This year there were the most wonderful puss moth caterpillars, um, which everybody kept telling me would be eating masses of it, but it doesn't matter, I've got two and a half thousand, so um, I think that's a really important aspect of it. And it's just the joy of being there, to be honest. The joy of making baskets is all to do with using my own material, which I've grown, which I have the connection with, which provides me with so much. Um, and then it's actually the being busy with your hands, um, so you can't think about anything else, you can't think about any troubles, and then producing something from a pile of sticks that is so beautiful to look at and so perfectly functional. Um, that's the joy of basket making for me.